Granny the Horror Game. The mobile horror game that once grabbed the attention of a large number of people around the world. Originally, starting as a spin-off to the franchise Slendrina, it nearly changed the entire landscape of mobile horror games. Still, even though all the attention it got, it has unfortunately been declining in popularity. So, what exactly happened? Where has the game been? During the summer of 2018, Granny experienced a surge in popularity, attracting the attention of well-known YouTubers such as DanTDM, and later on, Markiplier. Its accessibility as a mobile game and the fact that it was free to play contributed to its widespread appeal, especially among younger players. While other PC franchises like Hello Neighbor and Baldi's Basics also gained popularity around the same time, Granny's mobile format made it easily accessible to a larger audience, rewarding it with a massive win. With each update, the game's popularity continued to grow. But when the game started appearing its first sites of decline, Granny Chapter 2 was released. It had its initial release on September 6, 2019. It changed the perspective of Granny, introducing a new antagonist, Grandpa. And moreover, adding Easter eggs as a reference to Slendrina. Once again, the game attracted devoted players and enjoyed a period of success. However, over time passing by, Granny's popularity began to decline. So what happened after? Granny just kept going in an endless cycle where it would revive, be in a stale state and then just die. That is until something happened. After months of Granny Chapter 2 release, about the time when the pandemic started, there was a Roblox game that got released. Yes, yes. a Roblox, Roblox game named Piggy. Almost everyone knows it at this point, however, this game, firstly based on Granny, dragged a very huge number of players. In its first versions, this game was the result of Peppa Pig and Granny if they mixed together, and later on, expanding with a vast lore on its own. About a couple of months later, in June of 2020, Piggy hit 1 billion visits, which is insane for a Roblox game. Despite the fact that it is a game on its own, Piggy surely did put some light into Granny franchise. Now you might be wondering, if it is a game on its own, what does it have to do with Granny in particular? Well, Piggy not only got a bunch of players, but it also was trending on YouTube's watch page for a couple of months. Unfortunately, Granny's YouTube spotlight was not the same anymore. Moreover, it wasn't receiving any new updates in the meantime, as we mentioned before. It was stuck in a stale state. Even though Granny not being trendy anymore, that really was not the main issue. During the pandemic, YouTube Kids reached its peak trend, and mobile horror game animations were quite trendy as well. This basically turned Granny from this into this. All jokes aside, however, Granny's horror aspect was just vaporized from its game. It is safe to say that Granny did not receive any major updates in 2020, rather than just bug fixes throughout the entire year. Although, it doesn't mean the developer wasn't working on the game at all. On November 19, 2020, the developer released another title named The Twins. This game had a huge difference in mechanism compared to the old games, as it introduced the ability to carry more than just one item, and the ability to jump. It did have other main characters in the game. But Granny and Grandpa were added as an add-in option later on with the upcoming updates. Although this game was another title, it did get its own attention and I personally think it's one of the best, and one of the most underrated games in developer franchises. A couple of months after the Twins' release, Granny 3 was released on the 3rd of June 2021. Just like the other prequels, the game's idea was similar. Granny being inside the house and Grandpa is using the shotgun to blast us off. <laughs> However, there is one big addition to this sequel. The developer decided to bring back the main element that started this game off, 
and this main element is Slendrina. Not only Granny and Grandpa do make the game more challenging, but now you have to avoid Slendrina as well. The franchise might have gotten a new title, but it did not perform as well as Granny 1 or Granny Chapter 2 did. But it does have new things that the other games don't, such as a train escape. But just no matter how many new escape endings or just how many new additions the game got, its hype was already long gone. Granny was on a stage where it wouldn't receive any new updates, so just what happened? To keep it short, after Granny 3 release, the franchise's trend name was just not the same anymore. One reason is YouTube Kids and its mass popularity, or a second reason could be the fact that every trend goes like that, as we just said, in a cycle. A detail that must be mentioned is the fact that even though the developer wasn't updating his franchises, there's been great mods from the modding community of Granny, which still goes on up until this day. But yeah, Granny was getting carried by speedruns, mods, and whatnot during 2021, which I personally enjoyed. It's also important to say that all the Granny franchises weren't available only on mobile, but all the Granny games got their own PC port published on Steam. However, unfortunately, that would change a year later after Granny 3 release, as Steam took down all the Granny franchises. The developer tried to get the games back published on the Steam store page, but it just did not work out for the time being. But happily, on the 23rd of June of 2023, around the time this video was made, the games were returned back on Steam. After a year of not hearing from Vloper, Granny was basically on a hiatus, however. On October 14, 2022, the original Granny game received an update, like in Granny 3. Now Granny had a chasing theme too, it sounded like an angelic choir, here you can hear it. Pretty cool, huh? Not only Granny had a new chasing theme, but the developer added a sneak peek into the game, which is Granny's daughter. However, this chasing theme would change just a month later and Granny's daughter received a brand new role in the game. On the 23rd of November 2022, Granny's huge 1.8 version update got released. It did introduce so many new things, it introduced a brand new map area to explore, a new falling system as well new items but most importantly, a brand new antagonist. Spider-Mom, also known as Granny's daughter or Slendrina's mother. Spider-Mom is one of the hardest antagonists so far in Granny's franchise. She will eat you alive if you get caught by her. It seems that Granny has an obsession with spiders, as this is the second spider pet she has. After the 1.8 update, Granny's future is unknown. Maybe a brand new game will come out or a brand new update might just get released. Nobody really knows.